Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Pisces and it will not resonate with every Pisces cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have some moon rising or Venus placement in Pisces or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with me, um, email me or there is a link to schedule in the description box. And don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links um, to all three in the description box. All right, guys. What's going on with my Pisces collective? The message for the Pisces collective, we have justice. Libra energy. We have the moon, Pisces energy. We have the queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the eight of wands. The knight of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have judgment, Scorpio energy. We have the sun, Leo energy. And we have the Six of Swords. Back of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. Oof, who's losing sleep? Who's real stressed out at this time? Losing sleep, stressed out, crying even, possibly going through some type of turmoil. Restless. There is some type of like uh, justice coming towards you. Like you guys are going to be getting something that you deserve or something that you're owed. Could be money. Some of you guys, it could be a settlement of some sort is coming in. If it's not that, if somebody owes you money, I see you guys getting that. Or I see somebody coming towards you and giving you something that you're owed or that you deserve. Something that, you know, you're reaping some type of good karma. Take it how it resonates. Um, tell me about the moon. The seven of cups. I feel like maybe some something that's causing somebody a lot of stress is like maybe there's there's some confusion here. What about the moon and confusion? The three of cups. What's this have to do with my Pisces? You guys are waiting on something. You guys are like, maybe you guys are waiting on clarity. Some of you guys are maybe waiting to find out if somebody has like, what's the third three of cups? What's this mean for my Pisces? The three of cups. The nine of wands. What's the judgment card mean for Pisces? What's judgment mean for Pisces? The devil. The knight of wands. I definitely see that there could be, it could have been a fire sign. If it's not that I'm getting Capricorn energy for some of you. Um, yeah, definitely earth energy. It could be a Capricorn. Um... What about this person? This person broke your heart. To, it did something. But definitely can see this person was unstable. They were a player. They were toxic. What about, what does this have to do with anything? And judgment. Five of cups. They have regrets now. And now what? The hermit. But they're not saying anything. Maybe somebody's doing some self-reflection here. They're maybe weighing their options about something here. Somebody doesn't know if they should talk to you or if they should stay quiet for now and like maybe just continue to work on themselves or something um what is the, this moon energy though the empress there's fear here what does this fear have to do with three of pentacles what's the name of this person the page of swords this person could maybe be watching you or i feel like somebody's curious to know if you were in another commitment Maybe that's why somebody's not speaking to you. They're maybe trying to maybe get more information before they do so, more clarity before they approach you. But I definitely see that somebody is fearing maybe you getting into another commitment or something here. 
Yeah, it's like their intuition is telling them that you're going to find new love soon. So then all of a sudden now here, here comes this person. Yeah, this person's coming in with an apology. They're coming in with a love offer. Yeah. Because I feel like this person feels like you're moving on to new love. The, or you have new love that's about to manifest. Somebody can feel this. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and what this means for my Pisces collective. But yeah, I feel like you guys have kind of like closed yourselves off. Or maybe you guys are closed off. What does this have to do with this, this person? The Magician and what's to do with this person? The Magician, the Two of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you guys have like kind of like closed yourselves off to this person now. And you guys are opening yourselves up to new possibilities or to a new path. I feel like you guys are no longer open. Like, I definitely feel like this person's going to want to try to manifest some type of new beginning with you. But I feel like you guys have your sights set on a different path. You're not so much focused on them anymore. Tell me about the sun. What's this mean? The three of wands. Some type of something positive. What's this thing for my Pisces? The queen of wands. And what's this thing for Pisces? The queen of... What is this? The seven of wands. This person has like multiple different people. They have multiple different people. I feel like you guys are going to be maybe finding out that this person... There was more than one person that they were dealing with, more than one person that was maybe blocking this situation. Like, you know, it's something about, let's see here. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. The Ace of Swords. Okay, and what's this mean for my Pisces? The Four of Cups. The Lovers. I feel like you guys feel rejected by this person or they're going to end up getting rejected by you. You guys may have found out that this person had other options while they were dealing with you. You could have found out that this person had other people or something along the lines of that. And now they want to come back and try to make things right with you. But you guys know the truth. You guys know what they were really up to. So I see you guys maybe kind of ignoring this person. They maybe want to come clean. Like I, I'm getting like you guys have been waiting for this person to come clean about something. Like you guys have been waiting for them to tell you the truth. Where were if they were like tell them that like you guys maybe feel like you never got closure in a situation. Like you never really knew exactly what you were confused. You never really understand what what went wrong between you and a person. Like why things didn't work out. Why they ghosted you. I feel like you guys are gonna be finding out exactly why this person did that to you. Is what I'm getting from this. Okay. So, tell me about the Eight of Wands, the Four of Swords. Yeah, it's like you guys are going to be receiving communication after somebody stopped talking to you. Or you, you haven't been talking to a person and all of a sudden now they want to communicate. Tell me what this means for Pisces. Death. What's this mean for this situation? The Knight of Swords. What does death have to do with anything? The Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like, like if you guys have been really stuck up in your head, like not able to move on completely from, like I feel like you guys are trying to move in a different direction away from this person but you guys still wonder like why that person did that to you why did they ghost you why did they why did they treat you the way that they did i feel like there's some type of clarity or communication coming in that's going to end that cycle of like you wondering and being confused and not understanding like i feel like you guys are going to know exactly what what why everything happened the way that it did and why this person treated you that way it's going to get you out of your head okay so um, and it's going to be, yes, and it's going to give you what you need to be able to progress or move on with your life. It, everything's going to make sense. Um, it may be a little bit hard for you to hear that, but it's going to make finally give you the clarity that you need to be able to like move on from a situation, completely like close that chapter and move on with your life. Because I feel like what was holding you back was that you didn't understand. You didn't understand why somebody did what they did to you. Or you, you never really understand what understood what, what where, where things went wrong with you in a person why like why didn't it work out why did they do what they did to me like and i feel like you're going to be understanding exactly like if the clarity's coming in i feel like you're going to be getting what you owed you're what you're you're owed like you're you're like the closure the clarity to so that you can move on with your life so that you can have peace tell me about the six of swords the hierophant and what's this mean for my pisces the king of cups and tell me about this person oh you guys have somebody else coming in oh what about the six of cups What about this past person? 
the two of cups and the tower yeah it's like you being in this new relationship is going to be a tower moment for this person like tell me more about what this means how they're gonna tell me more about this tower the strength card and the temperance I feel like this person's still going, they're the ones losing sleep, guys. I feel like it's because they know that you're not going to be single for much longer. They, or they know that you're, you're no longer single. Like, that's what I'm getting from this. And it's making this person feel like they need to come in and kind of, it's like all of a sudden now this person wants to come towards you, offer you a relationship or have the courage and the strength to try to like make things right, balance out the scales between the two of you type energy and it has something to do with you guys have new love coming in you guys maybe have another water sign coming in here could be a i don't know for some of you i don't think it's a taurus um i feel like this is commitment we have the four of wands and the hair font this is marriage stability commitment like a family situation settling down could be with a water sign. If it's not a water sign, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. If it's not, then it's somebody that um, has is going to have a lot of love and emotion for you, okay? Deep feelings for you. Tell me more about this new person. Tell me about this new person. This King of Cups. The Two of Pumpkins. And what's this mean for Pisces? The Three of Swords. This could also be this person coming back wanting to now offer you what they should have offered you in the past because they feel you moving on. Tell me more about what my Pisces are getting clarity about in regards to the situation. What are my Pisces getting clarity that you need to move on with your life? What are they getting clarity about? So, yeah, that you need to move on from the past. You need to let the past go so that you can open yourself up to new love offers to come in here. That this is holding you back. This is a burden that you need to release and close out this cycle and heal. And and yeah, and Queen of Cups, focus on yourself. Love, self-love, self-care. It's like you guys are finally making the decision to move on from a person. And now here they come wanting to offer you commitment, marriage, stability. But I feel like What's the two of pentacles? They want to apologize. They want to maybe apologize to you for like uh, juggling you. What does the two of pentacles have to do with anything? What is this apology in the two of pentacles? The wheel of fortune? What is this two of pentacles? Tell me about the two of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. Yeah, what is this? Two of swords and the ace of wands. It's like this person was torn between like passion and stability or something what's the wheel of fortune have to do with anything what's the wheel of fortune have to do with anything something's coming to an end what's coming to an end somebody's deception it's like somebody wants to end their deceptive or sneaky if they've been keeping something from you they don't want to keep keeping it from you anymore if they had a secret relationship they want to end that something tell me more what is this seven of, what's this deception Something that was they were holding back, withholding from you. Holding back what? The emperor? What were they holding back? Putting any effort and work into this or something? What were they ho holding back? Their love? Like a love offer? They're being very selfish. What does this have to do with anything? What does this have to do with... What about... Now that it's like they see that they want to offer you this ten of pentacles now. But they had to like end something else. But it's because you're releasing them. That's what I keep getting. They're, they're offering you this now because you're releasing them. So. What do they need to know about this person? What do they need to know about this person? Yeah, when this person comes back, you really need to um, evaluate uh, the situation or evaluate, you know, think about whether or not you and this person want the same things for the future. If you guys are, are compatible, if this is somebody that you're going to be able to grow with. OK. Yeah, now they want to have that. Like, this person was withholding like love and affection or attention from you effort. Now they want to have something balanced. Now they want to have giving and receiving affection here. Now they want to open their heart to you. But it's because, tell me about later, dude. 
they're watching you leave them behind. I'm telling you, they're watching you. Or it's like now they're they're realizing that you're leaving them behind. That you're no longer focusing on them anymore. You're leaving them alone. And what is this causing this person to do? Okay, we have relational abuse. What is it asking, making this person do? They want to talk now. Tell me more about this. What is it causing this person to do? Tell me about Stork. They're going to be chasing you. I see that. They're going to be chasing. But I see you guys avoiding this person or ignoring them. They're going to be wanting to reconnect with you. Trying to lure you back in. But you guys like see this person for what they are. You see the truth now. Yeah, you guys may end up even friend zoning this person. Like They're going to want to try to have some type of new beginning with you. Tell me what the stork is. You guys are focused on something new. Like, I just feel you guys are going to be focused on something new, possibly. And you're not going to be as interested in this person or not interested in them at all. They're going to want to talk. You feel like this person's a huge red flag. For some of you. Tell me about really. Wait, no. What was I just going to get clarity on? What was this? This person's like realizing that they should have been more grateful for you. Like they abused like your kindness or they abused like you. They were like took you for granted. Tell me more about relational abuse. What's this mean for my Pisces? Yeah, it's like they're taking a look in the mirror now. They've been doing some introspecting. And what are they realizing about themselves? That they, yeah, we have altered view. They're seeing things differently now. And what are they looking at? What are they seeing now? That you are a catch. That you were an ideal partner for them. An ideal person for them. You were valuable. Marriage material. They should have pursued this. But it could be... How are my Pisces going to feel about this? I just feel like you guys don't want, are not interested. You guys are not in any rush to like get back into a relationship with this person. Yeah, you guys are going to maybe take your time in responding to this person or you're just not even going to respond to this person at all. You're going to take some time to think about it or something here. You guys are like, this person has really emotionally drained you. I feel like they like maybe used you or it's just like you're dealing with an ungrateful, a person that was ungrateful and that's exhausting dealing with an ungrateful person. Tell me more about island time. Oh, thank you. Tell me about, what's this mean for this connection? Heartbroken. Yeah. I feel like this, you're just, you're not going to be open to this person. I feel like you guys are going to be very direct with this person. You're going to tell them exactly how you feel and why you feel the way that you do. I see them coming towards you wanting to talk to you about this. This person's maybe going to tell you that they've, they've been lost. They feel lost without you. They, they've been very sad about this separation. They feel lost without you. And I feel like you guys are going to be very like kind of cold, closed off to this person. I feel like this person is coming towards you expecting to have that warmth, you, you know, you for you to extend that warmth to them like you used to, but it's not going to be the same way. Yeah, it's like you guys are going to be making yourself the priority here. I don't know, guys. You guys may let this person. Some of you guys have somebody new in your life. What does this mean for this connection? Addiction. 
this connection is blocking you. There's somebody new. There's something trying to come in for you, but this connection is a blockage. So, so you're just saying that there's some type of abundance that's trying to come in or this like relationship that's trying to come in for you, but this connection is blocking you from that being able to come in. That this person's still not who they say that they are. They're not, they're not genuinely interested. So why are they pursuing my Pisces then? Why are they coming back if that's how they really feel? Why are they coming back? They miss you. They feel nostalgic. Why are they coming back? Ooh. They could be, I was getting with justice and judgment. They could be maybe going through some type of like legal situation or something where they were reckless. All right. And maybe they need your help. I was getting that intuitively. They need your help with something. They can maybe be going through some type of like legal issues because they did something reckless. And they may need your help. What's this have to do with my Pisces? They, they may even tell you that they got a divorce. Yeah, they may tell you that they got a divorce or what does that have to do with my Pisces? What does that have to do with this friendship? Now they're like coming in willing to do whatever. What, what does this mean for this person? There's like this person's like not being completely honest with you about some things here. They're coming and telling you that they love you. They're going to you're going to be receiving communication from this person. Them telling you that they love you or something here that expressing some type of emotion telling you that they, they've been thinking about you. But with the wicked card here, I can't trust this person, huh? No, you can't trust them. They're going to ask you on a date. What's the outcome of this? They're not really sorry, though. Yeah, you can't trust this person. You're going to have to set boundaries. What is this person's true intentions? Oh, this is a little bit confusing. Clarity, and what's the Clarity. I don't know, guys. I feel like this person may be coming towards you with d good intentions. They do miss you. I do see them having loving feelings for you. But the reason that this person's coming towards you, yeah, they're coming in trying to, like, ask for forgiveness, try to make amends. But I feel like you guys are just not over whatever this person did to you. They do want something serious and solid with you, but I feel like you guys feel like maybe just because of this person, who this person was to you, I don't see you fully trusting them. Okay. I feel like you guys are going to feel like they're not being completely honest with you. And, but I feel like they are maybe actually being truthful with, with you, but spirit says, don't be afraid to take your time. If, the, don't, if this person, you don't have to give this person an answer today or when they come for when they first come forward. Okay, if you can avoid if you don't, you know, what I mean, you this the ball is in your court. Okay, I definitely see this person coming toward where is this relationship? Give me one card. Let me need to wrap this up. I've made this video so freaking long already. Where is this headed? It's up to them. So where is this headed? Uncertainty. Why is this person coming forward? They're confused. This person hasn't been listening to their heart, but they're about to start listening to their heart. What is their motive for coming in here? Family. Yeah, I feel like this person, it says family responsibilities are holding them back. Maybe a marriage. Don't put your life on hold. I'm, yeah, I'm getting that vibe. Like it could be like another situation or their family situation is not working out well and they're maybe looking for an escape. What does this have to do with my Pisces? They're still immature. Yeah, I told you. Spirit says you're going to have to stand your ground with this person. They're going to come back and ask for forgiveness. It could be next month. But just know that this person's still very immature. They still have work that they need to do. They need to get their family situation under control. They still are confused. They don't know what's going on or what they want. They're still very in like this uncertain, confused energy. All right. So, yeah, like they could be very fickle when they come back. They could be coming back and saying all this and then, you know, switch up on you again. 
what's the long-term potential of this? It says recent breakup. So yeah, this is somebody that was maybe like in some type of other relationship recently. Just that's why they don't need to be jumping. They're, they're jumping from one relationship to the next or something here. Like they just broke up with somebody else. And this is somebody that has a hard time being alone. So they're feeling lonely. So now they want to jump back to you because the other situation ended and this person doesn't like being alone. So now they want to come back to you because the other situation didn't work out. This person needs to learn how to thrive on their own. That's why I was getting like their motives or something is not right for coming towards you. They do have loving feelings for you, but they shouldn't be coming towards you because they're lonely and they just got out of another situation and they just don't like being single. All right, guys. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you can take something from this reading. Um, personal readings are open. Email me or click the link in the description box if you're interested in scheduling a reading with me. Um, and don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.